I was a bit unsure if I should actually do a vlog like a week vlog but i think is needed so i don't know if this vlog is just gonna be a series of days until i go to placement or it's gonna be a week vlog we'll see but hi morning um i just wanted to let you know that yes i've started school it's been quite a few two weeks like it's been so intense the content overload it's a lot so what's actually happening is that I don't go to placement until the 12th of October and I, would, I wouldn't basically see uni until March when we have our final year exams and submit our dissertations. So what my university has done because of the uncertainty of the lockdown and all, um, we've, they've kind of uh, brought forward all the dates that we would actually be going to uni during the second year if that makes sense together so that we are we have like a five week block of uni from the first week of september until basically the first week of october and yeah and what basically happens is that we are learning all the content of a second year meaning all your two a's and two b's conditions most especially advanced clinical skills this five weeks and we will then uh go on to placement till march it is absolutely crazy and absolutely mind-blowing but i kind of get the sense because if we were to go on to another lockdown it wouldn't really affect us because we would be in placement saving people's lives which makes total sense um again i'm really proud of my university and the way they're handling the whole social distancing and the way they've structured it is that we get mondays and friday uh on, um in class teaching so we have to come to uni so today's a monday i'm at uni quite early um and tuesday wednesday thursday we get online teaching uh via our collaborate what is actually amazing is that our content has not changed in the way of delivery meaning that we still get consultants registrars coming to teachers and that to me is a deal breaker because um, i actually thought oh my god how many people are willing to you know upon saving life how many of them are actually willing to come and teach us but the response from all the doctors we've had has been so amazing and they're really really trying to adjust into online teaching so we not only get the online teaching but is delivered by professionals in the field so i think that that is actually amazing so today is cardiology day uh, we had this last year where the first years are having it so we this is going to be structured a bit different so what's going to happen is um where we would normally sit in together first years and second year pa student we would have the first year pa student in one room second year pa students in another room and the main consultant will be um live stream to our room so we'll just be literally two rooms apart but yeah we still get the same content still same teaching and they're gonna basically go in depth on ecgs basics just so that we are aware because we will be going into mental health as our my first specialty or speciality i always thought please comment down below what exactly i should say but my first rotation is going to be mental health and uh we've been told that um well we know of course that quite a lot of antidepressants um medication or drugs to uh, use to um treat mental health disorders uh, sometimes or most times will need monitoring so knowing your ecg basics is important um so the most important thing is i love when we do cardiology day you all know the drill like the drill i love cardiology so yeah uh yeah so i'm excited we're gonna have that and then i'll go home and then tomorrow it's gonna be online lectures same on wednesdays thursday so i don't know how much i will be vlogging in terms of um if i'll just come up and you know talk about what i covered and what i've done but yeah just bear with me um this year is really important for me to structure my time accordingly and if you want a video about that i'll comment down below and i might do one on time management uh but definitely i i have noticed there's a shift on the the content i want to produce i just want to be more productive 
um by the way guys i need all the support i can get in terms of motivation i have not started my dissertation and i don't know what i'm playing at but i need to start writing my dissertation and by the time this up goes up i am hoping to have at least um written my introduction but yeah um yes so far so good first year se first year now nah, second year has been intense but yeah we we move so see you later I'm not giving up on summer like why am i wearing this nice fluffy um up, um sandals i actually love them they're so nice and cozy um and yeah i got my nails done actually my toenails but i guess summer is over so yeah anyway it's cool over there Hi guys, so I thought I should update you. By the way, I'm coming up with a cold. Um, so annoying. But yeah, sorry if my voice is a bit bump cocked. But yeah. Um, so again, today's home lecture. So the last time I saw you was on Monday. Today is Thursday. We have online lecture again this afternoon, and we're covering resp uh, two A's and two B's condition. We had a session yesterday of respiratory and um, MSK condition as well, two A's and two B. And this is the second part as for respiratory. On Tuesday, we had the neuro, two A's and two B's and endocrine i'm pretty sure uh but yeah it's so weird to be vlogging to be, because you know we're we're kind of adapting to the online lectures but i really can't wait for the teaching weeks to be over and start placement because i am so done with this online lectures um other than that i'm literally logging into my portal actually i can show you this so literally we have a portal um Uni portal. This is the module that we're doing, advanced clinical medicine in practice. We go on to collaborate, which is kind of your, I don't know, portal, I guess, where you uh, join in the session, and that is respiratory part two. And <laughs> but yeah <laughs> sorry guys i'm laughing because Belle, you know her <laughs> she had to wear a mask just because <laughs> we don't look decent according to her so we're wearing our mask we're social distancing um i think i showed you guys on the first um vlog that i done that we have this thing so it says that you can sit and basically it's one person per table and today we're doing suturing we're excited <laughs> but yeah by the way your picture was so nice yesterday oh uh, yeah you posted uh, oh wow <laughs> so yeah guys i'll show you guys what we get up to i hope you can hear me well there's a lot of background noise of course um oh yeah, yeah see you later so guys i'm just going to show you from the beginning how i do a simple knot just so that you guys can see if my technique works i still have to finish this with the blankest suturing but so far that's really nice so i'm gonna do it on that one so basically 
you have your needle pack you open it and technically your hand shouldn't touch your pack you want to then take your crocodile scissors I guess and lock it and pull your tress it's basically ready to be used then with the help of your person you want to I'm just gonna put myself because it's easier. You want to um, help hold your skin. Wait, let me quickly. And do you that. want to place this at 90 degrees. And you want to rotate rotation and pierce the skin halfway through. Then you want to unlock it. And you want to then grab, not the tip because it's fragile, pull it through to an adequate length. If you want to secure the needle by placing it just in the thing, locking it, you keep this at the side. Ideally, you will have a stair around. Okay, now, you want to do the nuts. So, I take my first step, do one, two loops, <laughs> one and two. I then open up, catch that, and pass it through. There you go. And you want to pull very tight. Very tight. Actually, I'm going to do it on this side just because it's easier for me. Tight. And then. Done. And then you want to take your scissors. And cut it about one centimeter. Cut the one centimeter. That's it. And that's how you do a basic stitch. I'm gonna practice the hard ones now, but I am so excited to be doing this. Belle, how are you finding it? <laughs> Belle, how are you finding it? I love it. Look, look at my. Wait, no, no, just look at my perfect, my perfect. Oh, get amazing. I love it. Love it, love it. See you later. Relaxing, like, oh my gosh. I love it. I could do this all day. Love it. Good morning, guys. I feel like I haven't like um been so consistent with my vlogging but i just thought you know what i will kind of end the vlog here today we have pharmacology lecture all day so we're in campus um and it's more of a recap actually funny enough this is going to be almost our last pharmacology lecture because next week we're coming in for just two days again and it's going to be a quick recap before placement so i'm so excited whoop, whoop. I'll be starting mental health placement and I will tell you all about it. I'll do a separate video on mental health placement and I'll see what I'm how I'm gonna be sharing my placement journey because again confidentiality I can't vlog in the hospital or in the places where I'll be having my placement but I'll try and figure out if I want to do like a beginning or start of placement video and then end of placement video by the way guys if you see all the spots this is basically my reaction to the mask i have tried different things but it's just where it is good moisturizer and yeah unfortunately that's what they do to me i just break out i don't know i'm allergic to some sort of material that they put inside actually getting used to having spots it's a normal thing for girls so i don't for anyone so i don't even know why it should be a big deal anyway so yeah i'm gonna go to lecture it's raining i'm late but i just thought i'd conclude the vlog here if you like this vlog of course like share and subscribe any question you have leave them down below and I'll see you in my next one